All right, on this Thursday program, we get a chance to chat now a little football with uh, Rams head coach Jeff Fisher, who joins us now. Jeff, welcome. How are you? I'm doing well, Mike. How are you? Good, thank you, Coach. Appreciate Good. it. Uh, sure. What's your thoughts about your season? Well, um, obviously, um, a little disappointed, uh, but there's uh, we saw some some good signs, some things to you know to look forward to in the future. Uh, very young football team. You know, obviously losing our quarterback and and week seven was not easy, but uh, guys battled throughout, and um, you know we beat some some playoff type opponents along the way, and and uh, thought we uh, thought we improved. So looking forward to continuing to improve that process. Absolutely, and you have some exciting players uh, on both sides of the ball: pass rushers, explosive players, as far as guys who can do a lot of things with the ball offensively, and have some uh, pretty good options in the draft this year. And what is a great draft too? Well, it is. I mean, uh, you know, we're just kind of getting started with that. You know, guys are just getting back from the Senior Bowl, and you know, the scouting department's got a good head start. So. We kind of we kind of get into that here, um, you know, along with our football. Is is uh, you know we wait for the off season program to start up. You know Seattle well. Uh, it's going to be fascinating to watch this Seattle defense against this Denver offense, especially. Um, do you think Seattle can put pressure on Manning with a four man rush, which obviously is a big key to this game? Do you think they have the personnel to do that? They they do, but you know. Peyton's pretty good at getting rid of the football, as we all know. And um, I think, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be a great ball game. You know, Seattle's going to have to get Peyton off the field. And when you play Peyton, if you give up a field goal, you, you consider that to be a win. Um, that's that's how you know you got to play him. So you jump to the other side of the ball, and, and Russell Wilson's going to have to convert, stay out of third downs. And when he gets in them, he's going to have to convert him because every time you don't, then that puts Peyton back on the field. And Wilson, you know, getting to their offense, obviously the idea is to is to bring Marshawn Lynch down with the with your first guy who hits him, which is not an easy thing because the guy is really tough. I mean, probably the toughest back in the league. He really is an outstanding back. Uh, he's great, got great vision and really good after contact. Ball secure. He's a good receiver. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's obviously going to be the key here. Is that is that if they can continue, you know, to continue to feed him the football, then you know Peyton Manning is going to be on the sideline watching. You know, uh, I date myself here talking about Fran Talkington, but I haven't seen a guy scramble as deep as Will, as anybody, as Wilson has since Fran Talkington. I mean, to scramble to make a throw, to scramble to buy time, to drop deep, sometimes 20 yards back from the line of scrimmage, and look to make a throw. What do you tell your pass rush? Are you looking to contain there? You look at, I mean, how do you play him when you know that's what he wants to do? Well, that's what, uh, you know, you're going to have to kind of, you have to rush him with rush integrity. Uh, you, you also have to uh, be equipped with speed on the edge. If you've got ends that can really run and force him to flatten out and pressure him towards the sideline, then you know you can force some errant throws or some just some throwaways. And you know we had some success against him. You know, specifically with Robert Quinn, Rob did a great job, uh, you know, at least in all four matchups against him here the last couple of years. Not too many guys blocked him anyway this year. But, you know, their line was not as good this year either. I mean, they gave a lot more sacks. And, and even in this last game, San Francisco got tremendous pressure on him in that game. Well, they're, you know, they've been dealing with injuries off and on as well. And everybody has for that matter. But, um, you know, the, again, getting back to it, I mean, Russell can make the, make all the throws, all the plays. He can break your back on it with the big runs. And, you know, he, again, they're – his, his deal is just you know, the longer he's on the field, the less time Peyton's on the field. We're talking with Jeff Fisher, the Ram head coach. You are an aficionado of deep backs, obviously, as we as we know, well know. Uh, have you seen a secondary any better than Seattle's? Uh, it's been it's been a long time, you know. Um, both those safeties are outstanding. Really, will really play well. Both run and pass. Good tacklers. They can match up well. You know, with tight ends and such, and then you know, both the corners are, are they're good players, and so and they, you know, they've got depth there. It's reflected on their special teams, and uh, yeah, it's a it's it's not a very complicated, sophisticated scheme. They just do it very, very well. They're well coached. Yeah, and I tell you, unique players. Earl Thomas is, and so is Chancellor. That Chancellor, he's a nasty hitter. Boy, he's a tough player. A good well, he's player too. He, yeah, he's big in person. You know, yeah. Earl's not. Earl's got the great range and ball skills, and can you know come out of you know center field and yep. 
and knock backs down for no gains. And Chancellor, on the other hand, is just a big, he's a linebacker playing safety, and uh, he makes a lot of big plays. What, do you, what would be the way you attack, we're talking with Jeff Fisher, from a defensive standpoint, what do you want to do with your defense against Manning? Is it, do you want to fool around with pre-snap reads and jumping in and out of defenses? Do you want to get into that guessing game, or do you just want to make it where we're just going to try and play straight and see if we can put some pressure on them? Well, you're going to have to change your look. There's no doubt because Peyton ultimately is going to put them in the best position when the ball snapped, run or pass. And I think I think Denver probably would prefer Peyton handing the ball off over throwing it down the field. So I think you're probably going to, you know, invite them to run a little bit and hope you can get guys to get off, you know, individual blocks and make plays in the run game. And they have, I mean, they got some serious weapons. In the, they got big wide receivers. They got versatile wide receivers. They got Welker. They got a lot of different ways to go with the football. Too. Yeah, they do. Peyton will take it outside if he needs to. If coverage takes it outside, he'll take it down inside. They got a lot of different options.